This is Carnival Live TV. You are now watching an exclusive showcase of Karma 2011, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. We sat down with Cloyd, the band leader slash costume designer. This is Red Lion, the Prince of Carnival. Enjoy the show. Yo, what's up? This is Red Lion, and you're here with Carnival Live TV. We're in Brooklyn, New York with Karma Carnival Band 2011. I'm here with Cloyd, the band leader and chief costume designer. Cloyd. How's it going? How's it going? Thanks for being here with us today. Uh, thank you guys for coming out this uh, so early on a Sunday. We appreciate hey, anytime, having anytime. you guys here. So what I want to start with is how and when did Karma w was created? All right, well, the, um, the conception, uh, as far as Karma is concerned, that was back in 2008. Um, when a group of when myself and a group of other um, interested individuals, we got together and we decided that, you know, we had all had some part to play in Carnival uh, during the years, whether here or back home in St. Lucia or anywhere else in the region. And we felt like, I mean, too many times that we ourselves personally had played mass or too, too many times other persons had been involved in carnivals anywhere in the world and then the, the, the general consensus was always the same. Everybody came back with, um, this was good, but I enjoyed this, but. And like, we felt like basically that carnival, there should be no ifs, buts, or maybes about carnival, so we figured that we wanted to provide persons with an option where there were no buts. It was just a great experience, hands down, point blank, period. And so we decided, you know what, the best way that we could possibly do that, if, the, if that's not available out there, is for us to present it ourselves. And so that's where the idea came about, and that's where we formally came up with the concept. The karma started back in 2008, and our first year out on the road was in 2009. The name karma, where, do, where does that stem from? I mean, well, karma is a Chinese philosophy, and I know a lot of persons usually associate it with um, if you do bad, then bad things will happen to you. But then there's also the flip side of karma, whereby if you do good, then good also comes back to you. So going back to why, why we even started the group, we wanted to be able to offer persons a quality product that we were proud of, that persons would then come back for year after year. So essentially, if we did good by persons, then we could expect their, um, um, their patronage and their service for the years, for the years to come, and so far, so good. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, what message are you guys trying? Is Karma trying to portray to the um, the bystanders and the viewers at Carnival during the um, the Labor Day parades? Well, basically, we're trying to show persons that you don't have to compromise. I mean, you can get a quality product. Um, you don't have to sacrifice on on price or the look or the quality of of of, of, of your costume and still have a great time. So there's no compromise when it comes to comedy. You get an unbeatable price. I mean, we have some of the best prices in, 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 in Brooklyn. I mean, because you have some bands who are starting off their basic sections at like $300 and we're offering costumes of the same quality, better than most actually, because our masqueraders have never had to complain about their costumes falling apart on them on the road, whereas some of the, some of the you know, bands have had issues of the sort. Our masqueraders don't have to worry about collection time. I mean, the costumes are already on time. The quality is impeccable. The service that they receive from start to finish is, is, is unmatched. I mean, these, it's top-notch security on the road. We employ the same set of security that, that Wadika uses at all their um, official um, Labor Day events. I mean, so security is, is, is top-notch. There's refreshments on the road. Um, I mean, it's fun. It's like a great mix of, of, of guys and girls from across the region. We have tons of St. Lucians represented in Carmel. We have persons from Barbados, from Grenada, from St. Vincent, from Trinidad. So we have a wide cross-section of persons. Our DJs are also extremely versatile in terms of the type of music that they provide to persons, you don't just get just the one type of soca music from one set of islands or the same songs in heavy rotation down the parkway. You get music from across the region, from a lot of the smaller islands. I mean, because there's soca music all over the region, so there's real no reason why we should be playing. So that's what persons can expect, that they don't have to compromise. You don't have to compromise on the look, you don't have to compromise on the quality, you don't have to compromise on how much it is that you spend or the time that you have, the safety, None of that. It's all we, we, we try to ensure that we take care of all of these things for, for yeah, our masqueraders. It, it definitely sounds like you guys stand out. You're now live on Carnival Live TV. How long have you been into, in fashion and design? Well, I got introduced to it through my dad a long time ago because he was into Carnival back home. He, um, 
he worked with some of the bigger bands back in St. Lucia okay. um, on their bigger costumes, the king and queen costumes, the, okay, um, okay. the bigger floats that go up for the um, king and queen competitions. So he worked um, with them on, on, on that. And when he moved up here and I started coming to visit, um, he would work, he was working with Hawks at the time, back when Hawks was like yes, the biggest yeah, thing in Brooklyn, you know, you know, so um, he was working with them at the time and then there was this one year in particular, I think it was back in, <laughs> it was back in 96 or 97 I want to say, when he himself had a section in the band Hawks and I was here on vacation at the time and I helped him with the designing and whatnot and then that's where my interest was really peaked as far as the whole costume designer was concerned and after I moved here myself for school um, I started um, I started designing for a, another small band called Paradise Islands back in 2004 I think it was three for back three 2003 2004 around that time I started designing for them actually um, in 2004 when I designed for them the first year that I designed for them exclusively the entire the entire um, band we actually came in second in um, in the small bands category, oh, yeah, on um, on for, for Labor Day of that year. So it's definitely been one of the highlights so far. So okay. I've been doing it since then. What goes into creating a carnival costume? I mean, well, the the process for me actually starts from way in advance of, of the of the um, the carnival season. I mean, because right now, as is, I've already locked down. The theme that, I'm, that I want to do for next year, I've already sorted out the sections, the color schemes, and some of the looks that I, that I, that, that I want to go for. I'm actually How even... Sections you guys go with? Um, for the past... Well, this is going to be our third year. For the past three years, we've done three sections, but then, you know, because we wanted to, like, grow small and, and, and develop small. We didn't want to rush ahead and, and, and do, like, five, ten sections and have, like, ten persons per section. We, I mean, we, we felt that the beauty of the design itself um, lent itself to the to the number of persons you actually had per section. So we figured that trying to get at least 50 persons in three sections was a much better look for us as opposed to getting 25 persons in six sections. Yeah. You know, so we've been doing three thus far, and so for next year we're hoping to go up to um, to four. But like I was saying, the process starts from like a whole year prior. Well, what other carnivals have you guys done? Is it only Labor Day? Is it only um, New York, or are you no. going any other places? Last year we. Um, we actually had a section in Miami okay. with Natural Freaks Unlimited. Okay. We had a section down there. We did very well. That was a very good venture for us. Um, you know, it, it opened the doors to a whole new market for us, a whole new, um, a whole new group of masqueraders that we may not necessarily have been able to reach on our own through Karma. So it definitely opened that door and it exposed a lot of persons to who Karma was as well. So it was definitely a good look for us. This year we're going back to Miami with um, Natural Freaks. Um, we'll be using one of the sections that we'll be showcasing um, at the launch today. We'll be using one of those sections to go to Miami just as we did last year. And then we're also this year venturing to St. Lucia Carnival. So you're going back home? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, that's good luck, yeah. <laughs> you can say you can say that. Um, yeah, so we definitely we're doing a section in St. Lucia this year. We're gonna be um, playing mass with um, just for fun. Okay. Um, Carnival Just band on, yeah. So no. <laughs> a name says it all, right? <laughs> yeah. So we'll be going down there with um just for fun, and um we're we'll presenting a section again, and it's a section that we will we'll also be doing in in Labor Day. So persons who actually play in the section in St. Lucia have the added bonus of paying a purchasing the costume for St. Lucia, and then paying a the, the common registration fee and reusing the costume from St. Lucia here in Labor Day. So it's like two for the price of one type like, situation. Like you guys are going green. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And we we can do that because again, we're confident in the in the quality of our product that is, is going to is going to um 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 stand the test of Sinusha Carnival. Even and in the rain? Even in the rain. Okay, okay. Even in the rain and in the heat and some more rain. It will stand the test yes. of time and, and make it back to New York um, um, in, in, in mint condition so that persons can use it again on Eastern Pocket for Labor Day. And the same will hold true for um, for Miami section. Persons who play mass in that particular section in Karma will then be able to pay a registration fee um, for Natural Freaks and use that costume again in Miami. Okay. So again, proud, uh, two for the price of one. So definitely Karma is leading the, um, the way in quality for, for Carnival costumes. I like definitely. that. Definitely. definitely. Well, we're going to be looking for you guys in St. Lucia because Carnival well, Live TV is going to St. Lucia. So we'll definitely well, look for you. In you, won't, well, you won't be able to miss us. We're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to be the group 
decked out in gold and orange, so you won't be able to miss us. All right, well, Chloe, thanks a lot. Give thanks, time. thanks again right. for being here. Appreciate it. Yo, this is Red Line. This is Karma Live TV with Karma, somewhere over the rainbow. And we'll see you on the road 2011, Labor Day, Parkway. Let's go.